and hello and welcome. I am very excited to be here. Uh, my name is Dean. I am from YCTV, Young Corpse Television on YouTube, and I'm truly honored to be a part of Board Game Blender. Uh, today's episode, weightlifting. Now, when I was first told about this week's episode, it made me really question and self-analyze some of my board gaming purchasing habits and uh, made me really think, what am I doing with my time and or money? So, uh, as an adult, going to be moving very soon, within the three, four month period, and uh, as a tool to help me analyze my board game collection, hopefully yours at home, we spoke with top professionals, crack team of professionals, and we have developed the WTFFR scale, weight to fun factor ratio scale, and hopefully with this tool, we can decide what games make the cut, what games in the future should we purchase or, you know, save our time, you know, let's save some time, let's save some money, and let's check out the scale right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our charts. Now, what we're gonna do is, as referenced earlier, I'm going to be moving, and uh, out of my six games, I'm going to chop them down to three, pairing them up in categories, and for the first category uh, I'm gonna break out will be Dexterity. Now, one of my favorite games of all time has to be Crokinole. I'm gonna go ahead and flip over to the graphic cam, and uh, wow, Crokinole, truly a just brilliant experience. Uh, a little pricey, uh, you can probably pick something up on Amazon for like 50 to 60 bucks. Works great, this is the, uh, the version on Amazon. I can vouch for this, very nice. The box, however, is very large. Very large box. Um, you know, it is a dexterity game, but there is a lot of strategy. And of course, Crokinole will be paired up against Clask. Um, air hockey, foosball, that kind of vibe going on. The box is hefty, it's large. Actually, it's probably heavier than it is large. However, um, for me personally, I would say it's a lighter experience because you're more so reacting in real time opposed to Crokinole, there's a lot of strategy going on. It's like more like chess, action chess. Now for the miniatures category, uh, this is gonna be kind of controversial. Not really, you know, fair matchup, maybe, maybe not, but let's talk about Ghostbusters. Cryptozoic, this came out on Kickstarter at about 100 bucks. Um, you could probably pick it up now for like 80. Kind of a light experience. I would argue this is probably more complicated than it is heavy because once you wrap your mind around uh, what's going on in the box, you're basically rolling dice. Very limited uh, as far as you know strategy goes, especially when you compare it to something like Imperial Assaults. I mean, wow, truly a modern, um, just miniatures game. This is just like one of the more popular games absolutely in the last couple years. Heavy game, four instruction booklets. There's a lot going on. It's a heavy game. And for the last category, let's talk about some abstracts. Some of my favorite games, very similar, but let's talk about Battlesheep. Um, this is a, uh, I believe it is a reskin of an old school abstract French game, I believe. However, the box might be kind of deceptive. It feels like a kid's game. Um, let's go ahead and pop this real quick. It is a very small box. Medium experience. Definitely not heavier than Ghostbusters, so let's everybody calm down. Um, but yeah, Battlesheep, super fun. More of like an area control style game. And of course, is going to be going head-to-head -head versus Hey, That's My Fish. And how Hey, That's My Fish breaks down is this is a Final Fantasy, uh, excuse me, Fantasy Flight game. Uh, this is a remade version, so the box is very small. Compared to Battlesheep, I'm going to go ahead and go to my video and make a quick... Quick, quick comparison in real time. Um, very similar games, 15 to 20 minute experiences, hex area control style stuff going on. Um, what it really comes down to you in this chart might might make itself useful is uh, the parts themselves. Kind of uh, some concessions made to get inside the smaller box. They went with cardboard, kind of a cheaper, smaller package. Uh, for me, I spend more time setting this board up than actually playing, unfortunately. And then something compared to a very similar experience, Battlesheep, obviously much bigger box. However, quality-wise, we're talking very quality uh, poker chips, nice heavy weights, uh, truly feels like, you know, when you bump the table, stuff's not sliding around. Hardcore, you know, very nice, beautiful hex tiles. So for me, using the chart, I can obviously say that for me, weight's not really an issue, and thus, Let's go back to the graphic. I mean, uh, hey, that's my fish. We had a good time, but you have to go. Uh, two spots left. We're gonna look at the miniatures. Now, uh, Ghostbusters, arguable. Um, and you know, you know, I'm kind of learning about myself a little bit, so I think I'm gonna adjust my heat matrix here. And I gotta say, this goes closer to here because I enjoy, you know, I don't mind the weights. But uh, Ghostbusters, arguably, like I said, it's more of a complicated experience opposed to a timeless classic like something like uh, Imperial Assault might be. So uh, Ghostbusters gets the axe. And unfortunately, in the last category, we have Clask versus Crokinole. 
Crokono for me is truly the you know the superior experience and Clask as fun as it is if a choice had to be made you can tell it's kind of petering off the graph more so because uh, for Crokono I mean Crokono's, Crokono's a winner there so for me boom 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 we're gonna go ahead and make that go away class bam and there you go uh, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and make uh, make some sense of all this and uh, be right back so in conclusion I have to say that uh, the you know the weight to fun factor ratio scale kind of useful probably not for most that being said uh, I learned a lot about myself today um, me personally I have to say the takeaway from this exercise was is that not only do I appreciate heavy games in the literal sense bigger boxes heavier components um I just don't mind it I don't know for me it's a sense of quality it's a sense of pride owning the best version of a game owning a quality product that will last the test of time and for me weight the literal sense is all about that I don't mind it I'm gonna move I'll get the second U-Haul truck and uh I'll just pay the extra 45 bucks for the second U-Haul truck. So, YCTV, Young Corpse Games, thank you. And catch you on the next Board Game Blender, hopefully. We're blending. This is blending. <laughs>